Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 46 tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we are going to check out some more date and time functions. So the first one that we're going to have a look at is the day name function. And what this function is used for is uh, it tells you the day of the week as in, you know, it'll if you if you pass in a date value, then it'll tell you whether the day on the date is uh, Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever, right? So it returns the name of the day and uh, you have to supply a date value as an argument. So just, let's just have a look at it. I type in select and then uh, the name of the function, which is uh, day name. And then within parentheses, I'll pass in a date value. So just pass in something like uh, 2007 and uh, July 14th. Okay, I'll put in a semicolon to terminate. And uh, when I execute, I see that on this date, the day was Saturday. Right, so this is a very useful function and you know if you're going to make uh, websites that are going to display date values then you know this function will come in really very handy so the next one that uh, we're going to check out or maybe you know we can check out an application of this function so what i'll do is um, there is a table that i have uh, in the test database uh, i guess it's the tutorial table in which i have a column that has date values uh, it's the upload the uh, underscore date column and we've seen the tutorial table uh, earlier in this course so i'm not going to show you the structure of it so i'll just type in the name of the field here and uh, instead of put it, putting a semicolon i'll type in from and then the name of uh, the table which is uh, tutorial right and when i execute the function i see that i get in the result set, you know, all these uh, values. So I'll just make this more readable by also fetching the upload underscore date field, right? So this will make more sense, I suppose. So yeah, you can see that the day on uh, 8th August 2013 was Thursday. And you know, since this value is being repeated a few times, we're seeing the same day. And then the day on uh, 4th April 2013, well, that day was also Thursday. So, you know, the point that I'm trying to make here is if you've got your date values in a field in a table, and if you want to use any of the date functions, then you just type in your function and, in, you know, at the place where you put in your date values within single quotes, instead of doing that, you just type in the name of the field that holds the date values, right? And of course, at the end, you'll have to put the name of the table and the from keyword, you know, that just goes without saying. So the next function that we're going to check out is the now function. And uh, in the last tutorial, we had a look at the current date and the current time functions. And we understood that if you want to know the current date of the system or the current time, then we use those functions. Now, what if you want to see the current date as well as the current time with a single execution, right? So in that case, you'll use the now function. And it's pretty simple. You just type in NOW now and a set of parentheses put in a semicolon at the end and when you execute the function you see not just the current date which is 15 January 2014 but also the current time which is uh, 138 and uh, 27 seconds right so that's the now function and the next one that we're going to have a look at is the make date function and what this function does is it takes in two arguments the first one is an year value and the second one is the day of year value so if suppose you want to make a date out of let's say the 231st day of 2003 right so you will type in select for that and the name of the function which as i said is make date and uh, you type in 2003 and then you put a comma and type in 231 so this will return the date on the 231st day of 2003 and uh, there you go we see that the date on the 231st day of 2003 was 19th August 2003, right? So uh, you pro you guys would be wondering that, you know, what good is this function for? But then there might be situations in which you would want to, you know, just use it. Like if you've got a website, and as I said, if you're dealing with date and time values in your website, then all these functions might find some kind of use, some kind of application on your application, right? So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll check out some more date and time functions, the you know important ones. And uh, there are loads and loads of them, by the way. So and each uh, SQL distribution, you know, MySQL has got its own set of date and time functions. You know, something 
uh, that you should check out. You know, if you're going to work with just MySQL, then there are some MySQL specific functions which are going to be, you know, which are going to prove to be very useful for you if you're going to work as a database administrator uh, or if you're going to make or, you know, uh, maintain your own applications. So, and Oracle has got a huge list of functions too, and Microsoft SQL Server has got a wonderful list too. So, you can check out, uh, you know, the documentation on these functions on the respective websites of these uh, wonderful database systems. But uh, I'm just going to discuss the more important ones in this course. So, I'll see you in the next tutorial, and uh, you may subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching this one, and uh, take care.